My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can use credentials in UiPath Wii framework. I prepared quite a simple case that is just logging into my homepage with a username, a password and then click login. We have the credentials here, the login and the password. And we want to do it in Wii framework in a secure way so we don't have this password floating around. Let's see how that is done. There's a thing we need to verify first, and that is that our UiPath Assistant is both connected and licensed. So this green lamp is on. If it's not, then our robot is not connected to Orchestrator, and we need to do that first. I created a really simple guide. There's a link to this in the description below, so follow that and then come back to this video. So assuming you are connected, then we can minimize this and go to UiPath. I'll create a new robotic enterprise framework and just click create with a default name. Another annoying thing that we need to verify is on is, or you'll see that in a couple of seconds, is that, that we have the XAML called get app credentials. You'll find it over here in the framework, so expand. And if you're not having this, that's a bug in UiPath, you can see I don't have it here, get app credentials. Then we have a problem we need to fix first. And if you have it, you can just skip this minute or two. So uh, let me close down UiPath, yes, close it down. Then you go to Google and we will Google UiPath reframework GitHub. Uh, like this, here, click in. And we will just download it. That's all the reframework files here. So uh, we will just download it as zip. I will move it to my desktop here. So outside the window, then I will open it. You will see it in a, close this one down. And we have it here. Go into it, then go to framework. And this is the XML that we need to use. So then again, Open up your UiPath directory. This is the project that we just created. So click into that. Go to framework and we can see that indeed the file is missing here. So what you need to do is just that we just copy this one over and you can see that we have it now. You can close this one down and minimize this. Now we open UiPath again and we will have the get app credential so we can get moving. Yeah, that's a couple of things that we need to fix. It's quite annoying. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So, and we will choose our old reframework. And just post comments or suggestions below. I'll be happy to respond to this. So, we are opening our reframework again. And we fixed it. Let me just maximize it. So um, now we can verify that we have the file. So go to framework and we can see that we have the get app credentials. So another thing that we need to do is to go to manage packages, all packages, and then choose credentials. Or you can search for credentials here and choose the one by UiPath, UiPath credentials activities, click install and then click save. You will need to wait a few seconds more, but now we are good to go. Yes, these are the settings that we need to apply. Otherwise, it won't work. So far, so good. So now we go to Orchestrator. We need to create an asset for uh, this login here. So uh, I have Orchestrator up here. So click uh, a new asset, create asset here, and the plus in the asset. So our asset name, choose whatever you want. Just uh, use the same uh, name in a few minutes. So i just call mine anderstjensen.org. The type will be a credential, so choose it here. Now we can paste in the username and the password. We'll just do this for my document. So this is the username here. And the password is here. Then we'll click create. We can see that we have created it here down that's just my password manager so now we created it another thing you need to do now is go to your uh, UiPath folder again this is our project go to data and then go to config we will open the Excel file in here the config file and it's here so now we need to create the name and make sure you don't create it in the asset, create it in the settings here. The name that could uh, be, uh, just choose the same name, but you can choose whatever you want here, Anders Jensen org, 
And here the value, that's the value it has in the orchestrator. So that was Anders Jensen dot org, uh, not org, underscore org, like this. Let me choose the same here. Now we're done with this the config sheet, so we can close it down. Then we go back to UiPath here, and in the framework again, we will open the get app credentials. It's a bit slow today, but it's here. So this one is uh, getting uh, one credentials from orchestrator. So if you have more, you just go to activities and then uh, find a another get credential. We can do it like this. And then you, know, you can have three or four or more. So that's it, I'll just delete it. We only need one credentials for now. So here you can see that it's already filled out with an incoming argument of in credential and two out arguments, password and username. We can go down to, we can mark it here, we can go down to arguments and we can find them here. However, say that you got more credentials, then uh, you won't, uh, or you will have some more specific names so we can differentiate them. So what I'll do here is that uh, out username, I'll probably say out, maybe just a, oh, sorry, here, aj uh, org and then username. So now we know that is this login that we are using. And the same thing here in their password, aj.org password. And here we will have an incoming credential and I'll use the same thing here, aj.org credential. So that's a best practice to rename these arguments if you have more or just do it every time, then we know that we are good. And you can see it's already filled out. We don't have to do anything more here. So um, we will just save this and we can close it down. Then we can open our main workflow. So we go to init initialization, double click it. And what we'll need to do here is that we need to do it in the first run. I'll just do it uh, below this and not under the uh, usual assets. But uh, if you want, you can do it in here as well. So I'll go to project and then our newly modified get app credentials. I'll just drag in here. And uh, before I import arguments, I'll go down to variables of this main here. I'll create two variables. The first one will be a string with my user, so str, I could call it aj user. That will be a string and it will be in a general business process if I have to reuse it later. Then we will have a, a secure string, so secure, or we can call it sec, aj path. And we'll need to change the variable type here. So um, choose the system security secure string. If it's not there, browse for types and find it. So like that, and now we created these two and we can change the scope as well to general business process. Now what we need to do, let me close these variables, we can uh, fix these arguments. We can see that here we have three arguments. We have one coming in, that was the aj.org credential. This one will read from the config sheet, the, the Excel sheet that we edited. This one will read the uh, credential uh, name here. And these two are the username and the password, that these are coming out of this um, workflow. So uh, when we have them from Orchestrator, they will come out here. So here we will, uh, we can store this one in our newly created variable. So uh, let me do this. And that was one was our str aja user here. And this one was our secure. So it's ck aj path. We will store them here in these two variables. And this one is coming in, so we need to read from the config sheet. So we'll say config, like this, then parentheses, quotation marks, let me move this a bit. And now we will uh, specify our name, that was Anders Jensen.org. That's the value that we chose in the Excel sheet here. And then to string, like this. And we um, have imported all our three arguments here. So now uh, we have uh, specified that we uh, or we have uh, our app credentials. They will be uh, we will get them from Orchestrator in this workflow, and then we'll get out to our main and store it in these two variables. Then we can use it in a process. So we can scroll a little bit down, and I like to do it here in the init all applications because that's where we want to log into something. But uh, you could of course use them wherever you want. So I'll just open this workflow here. 
The first thing I'll do, so we have nothing here. We can uh, create a sequence where we will log into our uh, homepage. This one could also have opened the browser, but I didn't want to do it here, just uh, not to complicate things. So we can say this one is login to anasjensen.org, like this. We will create two arguments. Um, create argument. The first one will store our user and the second one will store our password. This one will come in, So, uh, but I'll call this one str, aj user. I don't remember what I called it before, so you might want to do it the same names, it doesn't matter. So this one will come in, str, aj user, as a string. And then we have our secure, aj pass, and that's a secure string, like this. So now we can uh, work. We want to, let me close this one down again. So we want to type into first. And in the activities, we will type into here. Where do we want to type in? We want to type into this username. So indicate on screen, we want to type in here. What do we want to type in? We want to type in str aj user, like this. Then we want to type in a secure text. It's right, right below, type secure text. Where do we want to type that in? Well, that's just the password here. And here you want to specify it over here in the input secure text. So this one will be secure AJ pass, like here. Now we just need to click the login. So click, click, click here. We will indicate the login like this. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now we have sorted this, we click save. We will close this one down and we need to import these two arguments here. So we can see that uh, the one it already found and the other one will just be our str, what do I call it? AJ user here. Uh, yeah, like this. So now we have imported our uh, arguments. That's the uh, use and pass going into this init all applications. We can save it and now we can actually run it and it will work. So run file. In a few seconds, UiPath will run. And now we will see that it types into our uh, username password with the password and username from Orchestrator. And you can see that it indeed worked. We are mission accomplished. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Have a good day. Bye-bye.